tonight on Big Brother. I'm going to throw a bit of a spanner in the works here, Big Brother. Friends and family nominate. I mean, I believe in, in fairness, and um, that wasn't fair. Don't bring people's profession in the argument, dude. Come on. Thanks to the tango, Bushy. Mm. The housemates hear what the outside world thinks of them. She's painting a picture of Ryan which isn't true. The final nominations to see who makes it to the final week. If you have heard your name mentioned several times tonight, you will be a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Guy had her worst moment in the house last night. Leo! Yes. Three people had been saved. Ryan! Penny! Yes! But not her. And earlier she'd made a diary room declaration that she would win Big Brother and at one stage wasn't even going to pack her things. Now she finds herself within an inch of being evicted. It's time to go... Richard! Love you, Richie. Hi, oh, guys. It's nice meeting you, man. Good to meet you, fellas. Good to meet you, man. You're an awesome bloke. Richard's short stay in the house is over. Mate. This <laughs> is Big Brother. <laughs> Housemates. Pause. Pause. But he gets a final reminder of how unkind Big Brother's remote control task can be. Richard. Play. See you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Jealous. Isn't anyone going to say goodbye? Just a couple of words. All right, a bit harsh. Have fun. See ya. Housemates play. So cups. Two of the four neighbours have gone in quick succession, but two are left standing. Lena wasn't nominated, and Penny was saved. I think once Penny got saved, Richie goes while I'm going, like he knew it. I'd be like, what a cocky fat cow. I would, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't be happy. If Hold I up, David. Yeah, just leave that one alone, Dave. And someone said, <laughs> walk away. Like, walk too, away, too buddy. Many ways I gone walk up. away. Alive. Big brother. Penny. Hi, big brother. <sighs> Nicely done. Oh, that was full on. So shocked. That means that some people actually voted and saved me. So I really appreciate that because it just means a lot. Hey housemates, if you're seeing this, it means I've been evicted. The parting messages from evictees have contained some parting shots of late. Now it's Richard's turn. Which person is causing the most disharmony in the house? Um, I'd have to say Sky. Um, Sky is a, I know you're young, but you know, you are 20, you're an adult. Um, you're living with nine other people. You need to contribute. Washing dog poo off your shoe with a dish brush and then just leaving it in the sink is not acceptable behaviour. Um, there's other people in the house as well and your actions do have an impact on other people. So um, just have a bit of a think about your actions and what impact they're having on those that you're living with. The biggest issue in the house at the moment uh, for me definitely is this recycling and rehashing of old arguments. It just completely kills the mood, guys. Um, one habit I'm not going to miss, probably this one's aimed at you, Leo. Um, I know you're a big boy, you like your food, <laughs> but every time we sit down and we have a family meal, um, I can just see you tuck through that first course in about 10 seconds. And that every time I make eye contact with you, I just feel uncomfortable because I get to see you watching everyone, waiting to see who's going to finish their meal. And then you sort of get this nervous look. 
and you start to offer around the seconds, hoping that everyone will say no. I get why you do it, but it's just very unnerving trying to enjoy your meal being watched like a hawk to see if you're going to finish it. So I'm not going to miss that at all. The person I think is on track to win this year's Big Brother is definitely Priya. And Preezy, if you're watching this, no, Ryan and David didn't ask me to say that. I genuinely believe that you're the favourite. I know you're not comfortable with that label, but uh, your strategy is fantastic. I think um, there's not really anyone in the house that strongly dislikes you. I had a great time getting to know each and every one of you, so make the most of it. Spoken like a 98 percenter. Spoke really well. Well done, Richie. That was good. <laughs> hey, Sky. You can you go like clean? Can you, you go clean the glasses, no, please? I don't think so. Go oh, clean the glasses. Yeah, Contribute. You haven't done one washing. You haven't done one washing. You haven't done one set of dishes. I don't think so. You've never hanged out clothes <laughs> on the line. You've never made your bed. You steal everyone's moisturizer. I don't. And lately, you can't even look yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Contribute. I. The contributions are everywhere around us. Fine, I'll start cooking dinner. But I just don't know how. <laughs> uh, I, I do you. the dishes when I'm not cooking. When you're not cleaning poo off your heels. <laughs> What do you make of the gender balance back on even terms now? Yeah, four on four. Hopefully it's um, it's all good. I know I know Priya and uh, and Lena are getting along really well, um, so they they stick pretty tightly together. But vice versa, I'm pretty tight with Dave and and Trav and Leo are pretty tight. Um, you know, I think like the thing is, I think we all everyone's fine. Like during the day, everyone mingles and kind of hangs out with whoever it's it's not a like no one cares about gender i think it's just when we have like evictions and like events on we tend to just split up in groups and kind of debrief as a as the girls do and the boys do so yeah it's not i don't really see it as a negative thing well, he didn't look happy when chloe from chippendale came in he didn't look grateful at all he did not look thankful one but bit sky priya and lena are discussing dave while the boys have their own gripe session and I just can't handle like all the like girly chat. He was trying to make me look bad. I just think that with Dave and anything that comes out of his mouth, like we he tries to be little no, people. But, the, but in saying that, unless it really, really pisses you off and we start calling out, just ignore it so that he stops doing it. He's pushing buttons. I'm thinking that I'm not going to keep my mouth shut anymore. Why would I? Why would I? If that makes me look like a bad person, so be it. But I'm just going to. From now on, no, no holding back. Yeah, Lena does my head in. Mm. Her and like, Priya together, pretty annoying. But then when Sky gets in the mix, well. Wow. Oh, he said yeah. something nasty. I just yeah. feel like and he needs I'm to shut t- his mouth 90% of the time. Me too, talks. me too. And he's so Seriously, happy. if he wins when- this show, I oh, will feel... He's he's a, you know what, he just, just needs somebody to shut him down. Pee. Full stop, no if more, that's pee. it. That's going to be me. I'm going to shut him every time he says something. Housemates, it's nomination time, but not as you know it. Oh, oh massive. <laughs> Tonight, the five housemates with the most nomination points will face the public vote for eviction. The housemates who avoid being nominated tonight will be guaranteed a place in the final week Ooh. of Big Brother 2014. <laughs> Ooj. Travis to the diary room. Massive. So it's not as we know it though. Travis. Yes, big brother. As head of house, it's time for your nominations power play. Travis, you will be the only housemate to nominate tonight. Okay. That is interesting. And how's it going to work? All will be revealed shortly, but for now, you have five points to nominate two housemates. Who do you nominate? For how many points and why? Um, For three points, I nominate Dave. I see him um, as a strong player. If I get rid of him, um, 
it gives me more chance to win this game come the final week. Accepted. For two points, I'm going to give my nominations to Ryan. I see Ryan as a threat. Accepted. Travis, your nominations are now over. That is all. Thank you. Housemates, Travis has just used his nomination power play. His power play was a simple one. He was allowed to nominate. And he will be the last housemate of 2014 to nominate. Housemates, tonight your nominations will be made for you. Your loved ones will be entering the house and you will watch and listen to them nominate on the screen on your behalf. Housemates, you will hear who they nominate, but you will not hear the points that they are awarding. Ah, this is sick! The first family member to nominate on behalf of a housemate is Melvin, David's father. Remain on the couch at all times. Melvin, to the diary room. Yeah. Everybody sends their love to you. You're playing a great game. Keep up. We're very proud of you. I don't know. Yeah. This is epic. You look so much like your dad. Melvin. Yes, BB. It's Big Brother. Call him on it, big brother. What a lovely name. Thank you very much. Lovely it, person, I hope. It may interest you to know that big brother was also christened Melvin. With an I or with a Y? A Y, of course. Oh, good man. <laughs> You're one of us. Melvin, it's time to nominate. It's real life, Melvin. Okay. Oh my God. The housemates will see and hear who Melvin nominates, but they won't see his points. Melvin, without revealing your points, who do you nominate first and why? Next. She had no, no knowledge of what was happening, but she planted that seed into people's heads. David's dad stands up for his boy. You know, that was really deceitful. Melvin, without revealing your points, who do you nominate first and why? I nominate uh, Leo because I have trouble trying to lose weight and every time I look at Leo he's always eating, so I find it quite disturbing. But how does that affect David's time in the house? Well David knows I'm trying to lose 10 kgs, well he thinks I am anyway, but uh, I think it does affect David's time in the house because uh, he's eating their supplies as well, that's the other thing, so. So Leo is taking the very food from your son's mouth? Yes. <laughs> Accepted. Sorry Leo. Melvin, without revealing points, who do you nominate next and why? Well, I suppose David's very strategic, and we do have the same initials, strategic dad. For my second nominations, I'm not going to nominate Priya. <laughs> she was um, going around telling, asking, telling everybody in the house that David probably threw Ryan under the bus, and um, you know that was really deceitful and. She had no, no knowledge of what was happening, but she kind of put that seed, planted that seed into people's heads. Ryan probably feels that Dave put him under the bus. He would not want to compete with Ryan because Ryan is a strong competitor. Yeah. And to me, that's being deceptive. And it's not a way to play the game. And this is a game we know, and there's only one winner. But uh, I mean, I believe in, in fairness, and um, that wasn't fair. This feels like high school. <laughs> <laughs> Like well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, Melvin. No. From no. strategy Dave to strategy dad. That's correct. Dad and Dave. The nomination is accepted. Thank you. His accent is so strong. Is he English? Yeah. Melvin, please reveal the ballot paper now to Big Brother.
your nominations are complete. Thank you, Big Brother. <laughs> Strategy done! <laughs> See you, Big Papa! Pull it, pull it, pull it! Pull it. Mm. Pull it. Oh. Here you are! <laughs> See you, Big Papa! Sue, to the diary room. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy this. Oh, <laughs> I gave you my heart. Is this his joke? We just speak That's really amazing. stupid to each I other. Love it. That I gave you my heart. Like, is oh it? Oh my god! <laughs> you get it. I'm oh. so embarrassed. You'll have no idea. Don't I'm so worry. sorry. She's checking her glasses. I don't know if she can see. <laughs> so. Yes, Big Brother. Big Brother is curious. Does Penny get her flexibility from you? <laughs> Bet you big well, yes, I suppose to a degree. Not really, Mum. Uh, there was a lot of yoga happening in the family when we were very young. I've lost my flexibility, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Sue, it's time to nominate. All right. I nominate Leo because I'm voting on Penny's behalf. And it's occurred to me that he's just not playing sun safe. And I know how concerned that would make Penny. He was out not just sunbaking, but he was oiled. There was no hat, there was no rashy. And I know I was concerned. I know that really would have ruffled Penn's feathers. It's just that lovely naked skin and it's all exposed. And it's just... Mm, just dangerous, very, very dangerous. So, would you advise Leo to grow some body hair? Would that help the situation? Oh, the shaving! Oh! The body hair would help to a degree. It would give him, you know, some sort of shielding from the sun. Sue, so Big Brother's heard a lot of slippery reasons for nominations, but never one involving slip, slop, slap. <laughs> That's it, slip, slop, slap. Except Leo. Thank you, Big Brother. <laughs> All right, next I nominate Travis. Penn's a bit of a greenie. No, she's, she's a big greenie. And Penny composts all her waste in the household, all her biodegradables. I feel that Travis, I'm sure Penny would feel this too. No. Travis, with the power that he has had, that he could have done something about that, that he could have organised a recycling bin and definitely composting. We've got recycle bins. He could really make a difference In the to the Australian viewers by getting that message out there well and clear. <laughs> That's what Penny would say. So you're nominating Travis for not being environmentally conscious? Yes. You can even rip up toilet rolls after you've finished with the toilet paper. Enough, Mum! Is that and really fair, though, Sue? Big Brother hears Travis recycling his jokes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, big fella. <laughs> Accepted. Thank you very much, big brother. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's such a hippie. <laughs> Sue, yes, you may reveal now your ballot paper to big brother. Your nominations are complete. Thank you, big brother. <laughs> She's Penny. hilarious, Penny. She is hilarious. She's a firecracker. She's so oh, embarrassing. No way. Michael to the diary room. Where's Michael? Oh! oh! oh. Very handsome. <laughs> oh, my God. She's gorgeous. <laughs> so exciting. Oh Oh my god. So I can't believe he came up. Michael. Big brother, how you doing? Bonjour, Sva. Sva, toi. 
<laughs> Learn some French, that's awesome. <laughs> Michael, it's time to nominate. Look how perfect his hair is gelled. Okay, big brother, I'm nominating David first. The reason for the nomination is I believe he is the least um, genuine housemate in the house. And I think most people can agree that the, uh, the game has sort of gotten in his head, you know, a little bit. Um, he's getting quite arrogant. The way he's sort of carrying himself <laughs> and everything has changed um, quite dramatically in the, in the last couple of weeks. I think an example of that is the, um, the fight he had with Priya uh, the other day in the, in the spa. You ain't my authority, so settle down on that. He's quite aggressive and I don't really appreciate that, that kind of behavior. Accepted. Uh, so my next nomination is Ryan. Uh, so that's purely strategic. Uh, he's an awesome dude. To be honest, I don't think there's much that's going to be uh, derailing that Ryan train at this point. I'm just going to, you know, give it a shot and uh, see what happens. Michael, what do you mean by the Ryan train? That's uh, a metaphor for his uh, popularity. I think he's got a very good chance of winning this thing and uh, there's not much that can stop him. So Michael, you're saying if Ryan stays in the house, Australia might choo-choo-choose him. <laughs> Correct, big brother. You got it. I love big brother. <laughs> Accepted. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh, yeah. you may now reveal your ballot paper. Thank you, Michael. Next. It's mean. It's kind of mean. Ryan's sister comes out swinging for her big brother. She's painting a picture of Ryan which isn't true. Housemates, here's Johnny. Johnny! Leo's best mate Johnny is next up. Johnny, get up there. That's the guy that flew me to Vegas. <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> Johnny. Big brother. You're not Canadian too, are you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> not. Are you sure? Do I look Canadian? <laughs> Touche, Johnny. <laughs> it's time to nominate. <laughs> Who do you nominate first and why? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to throw a bit of a spanner in the works here, big brother. I nominate, wow, Sky. Oh, you're oh, kidding. kidding. Just, just, uh, just tip, uh, <laughs> I'm nominating for a, a strategic purpose. Yeah, Sky's definitely competition against Leo. Yeah, that's why I'm nominating her. I feel she's a threat. A threat to Leo winning the game? Of course. And why do you think that is? Um, <laughs> well, she's still here. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Johnny. Yes. Do you think Leo would appreciate you nominating Sky? If he takes home the 200k, I'm sure he will. Another good point. <laughs> you could be the best nominator ever, Johnny. I hope so. Accepted. Okay, the next one, once again, strategic. I'm going for strategy, Dave. <laughs> I feel he's a threat to Leo. You see David as a strong player. Of course, he's still here. <laughs> um, and he plays strategically, so I figured why... Oh, I thought you were running around like a headless chook. For Leo. Accepted. <clears throat> Thank you, big brother. That's massive. You may now reveal your ballot paper to big brother. to the diary oh. room. Oh. Yo, how hey, you doing, mate? <laughs> What's happening? I love you. Love you so much. You're so good. Oh my god, this is too <laughs> weird. Love ya. You see me? She's a cutie. Oh man. Does she like reality stars? Oh my She's god. so beautiful. Hello? Yeah, my heart's racing, eh? Oh, wow, look at her. 
Oh, Sharon Stein. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey. <laughs> <Abby>. <gasps> oh my gosh, hello. Big Brother's always on the lookout for beautiful housemates. What are you doing next year? <laughs> Stop it. I'm going travelling. Well, make sure you pick up an application form before you leave anyway. Perfect. <laughs> well, Abby, it's time to nominate. Stop it. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Who do you nominate first and why? Okay, I am nominating Priya. Um, I feel like Priya is kind of rallying troops um, to kind of create an alliance against Ryan. What? Um, she's painting a picture of Ryan which isn't true. And it's mean. It's kind of mean. <laughs> Dave and Ryan, when they're on their own, they're nice people. It's just that yeah. when they're together and they gang up with Tom, it's everything that they do, I'm like, oh, yes. do they have something behind this? You know how the whole the girls and the boys divide, she's kind of feeds more specifically the girls, that idea of Ryan, um, you know, like that pack mentality, like, um, yeah. Accepted. Thank you. Secondly, I nominate Lena for similar reasons as Pre's nomination. She, again, is kind of rallying troops against that pack mentality, which is definitely not Ryan at all. I feel like the catalyst for divides within the house is created by one person, Ryan. She is one of the people that doesn't get along with Ryan very well. Accept it. <laughs> well, we don't know the if they're one. You may now reveal your ballots to Big Brother. See ya, love you so much. I'll speak to you soon. Love ya. Love you. See ya, love ya. So much like a 22-year-old, like all my mates, girlfriends and stuff. Yeah. He's awesome. Coming up. He's a bit of a dark horse. Travis's mum warns him to watch out. <laughs> Shez has come in here and just dropped the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Go to ninejumping.com.au forward slash big brother and tell us the topic you think the housemates need to clear the air on. Cheryl to the diary room. Cheryl, it's my mum! <laughs> Cheryl! I had lunch with Aisha today. She's a ripper chick. Oh my god. Love your mum! Cheryl. Oh, hi, big brother. <laughs> it's time to nominate. Okay. I'm going to be nominating Ryan Ooh, uh, simply because he's actually been uh, nominating Travis uh, for most of the weeks. Most of the weeks. Which I think Travis might be unaware of. <laughs> right, he's just stitching me up. Well, he's not unaware anymore, is he, Cheryl? Well, no, no. I think he uh, needed to know that. So, uh, yes, he's uh, now he can be arrested and he can, yeah. Accepted. <laughs> well, this one that I'm going to nominate will be Leo. Oh. And yeah, I think he's a bit of a dark horse, and uh, I think he's uh, favouring some housemates for his popularity. Oh. And what do you mean by he's favouring housemates for popularity? Well, I think um, he could be. Favouring maybe Sky to, uh, yes, increase his popularity. I've just got that little bit of a feeling. It's uh, obviously totally strategically, so. She's yeah, just come that's, in here uh, and just drop the bombs. My thoughts. <laughs> Are you suggesting it's a showmance, not a romance? Uh, yes, big brother. That is M A double S I V, Cheryl. <laughs> Your nomination is accepted. <laughs> Oh, she's dead set, just dropping bombs. <laughs> Can you reveal your paper to Big Brother? Thank you, Big Brother. Love you, Mum. Hey, I want a coming home party too. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Bouchon to the diary room. I love you too. Love you too. Here's a slow mo for David. <laughs> What's up? I love you too. What's up? He used to be even bigger when we met. What's up? Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Bouchard, you've spent almost as much time in this diary room as Priya has. Yeah, close to that, I guess. Yeah, you can say that. And made Priya cry almost as many times as David has. Oh, yeah, good one. But I made her cry in a good way. Good point. He's a man of few words. Mushan, no. it's time to nominate. All right. Ooh, like that. I'm evil now. I would like to nominate um, David. Um, <laughs> because Surprise. he grinds my gears all the time. <laughs> all the time, especially when um, he's arguing with Priya. Come on, man, he's my wife, dude. Come on. Um, Takes two to tango, Bushy. Yeah, um, can you give Big Brother a specific example of when David ground your gears the most? Yeah, well, look, don't bring people's profession in the argument, dude. Come on. You know, um, at the spa. I mean, we know she's a teacher, but that doesn't mean that you're going to bring the profession in, 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 in the argument all the time. That right there is the teacher in you. I have never talked down to a student. That's not why I'm a teacher. I'm not there to be little human beings. If you think that's what teaching is, shame on you, David. <laughs> Accept it. You look like Drake. Who do you nominate next and why? Uh, don't hate me, bro. Hate the game. Um, Ryan. Um, I think he's an easy, yeah. easy rider in this, in this whole... Yeah, Ryan. Um, for the season. I don't recall him for the first 30 days at all. He has a really easy, smooth ride um, compared to Priya, who's been up for eviction and keep on fighting again and again. So, um, yeah, he's, he has a really, really easy ride um, compared to other, other housemates. So Ryan is doing it too easy, and you want to make it tougher for him? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, and I thought he was going to struggle. Like said, don't hate me. Hate the game. <laughs> Accepted. He's got swag, he really does. You may now reveal your ballot paper. Thank you, Bashan. Love you all. Love you too. Really? All of us? David. <laughs> Kayla to the diary room. <laughs> so comfortable. Breathe. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Kayla. <laughs> yes, big brother. <laughs> Your sister, Sky, is renowned for her articulate nominations. Okay. So it's a big chair to fill. It is. Are you up to it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Kayla, it's time to nominate. Oh my gosh. Whew. Who do you nominate first and why? I nominate David because I feel that if he's annoying me, he's annoying Sky, and I don't like his smart attitude and I don't think Sky would appreciate it either. <laughs> when they were all having a conversation in the lounge room and Sky was trying to figure out the word, the right word to say favoritism, and David sat there and said, I just enjoyed watching you struggle, which I think is really cruel. He favouritises. He favourites you. How about he just favours you? He favours. Favours, that's the favorites. word. It took us that. so long. Because it was a lot more fun watching you struggle. Yeah. Who do you nominate next and why? I nominate Lena because I feel that if you're going to be a, you can't be a true housemate if, you haven't had the full experience and you have to be up for nominations to have the full experience of Big Brother. Fair okay. point. And this late in the game, I don't think she should be missing out on nominations, so. So this is just a nice favour to Lena, is it? Yeah, basically. Accepted. 
<coughs> She's changed so much. Oh my gosh. Your tally. Sorry about the handwriting. It's really messy. Coming up, housemates. The nominations are complete. The results are in. With 16 points. Who will get a free ticket to the final week? Your loved ones and your head of house have spoken. Housemates, the nominations are complete. If you have heard your name mentioned several times tonight, you will be a little nervous. <laughs> However, there is one last piece of information you need to know before Big Brother reveals the scores. Earlier, Big Brother called two housemates to the diary room and awarded them three nomination points each for a blatant breach of the rules. Those housemates were Priya and Sky. Wow. Housemates, your loved ones and your head of house have spoken. The nominees are with 16 points. David. <laughs> with 10 points. Priya. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you? Please don't cry. Good to see you. <laughs> with nine points. Oh. Ryan. <sighs> with five points. Leo. Big boy. Oi, Marty. Oh, please, so bad. And with five points, Sky. Wow, you both made wait, wait. it. That'll be end. David. Priya. Ryan. Leo. And Sky. You will face the public vote for eviction. Lena, Penny, and Travis, congratulations. You will compete in the final week of Big Brother 2014. Oh, that's it. M-A-double S-I-V-O-I. Going under the radar. Yeah, I know. I've been wandering around, around a bit. That's what they're going to think. It's not our fault, though. That, but that's what they're going to think. I saw it straight away. A few people looked at me, like those in wouldn't even look at me. They're like, oh, you know, straight through to the final and like complete, like as in, you know, as in it's kind of like. It's not our mm. fault, though. Yeah, but it's kind of like, yeah, like kind of. It's not our fault. Penny made that connection with that's no one because she avoided eviction tonight, so fair play to her. Uh, Lena's uh, been lucky and she snuck through both, um, but you can't be angry at them. Well played ladies and uh, hopefully I'll see them in the final week and we can uh, knock them off the perch then. We'll see. Is that getting too arrogant, Bushy? <laughs> if anyone gets weird about it, well, hey. It's not, it's not, like, what can we do? It's not, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I can only see this week being a absolute doozy. I would never nominate Sky ever. But for me, I'd have to go against her at some point anyway. So all Johnny's done is taken the hammer out of my hands. That's exactly what he's done. Because if I didn't nominate her, eventually I'd have to face her. So all that's happened is Johnny's just taken that out of my hands and, and put us against each other, which was going to happen anyway. If you're going to be the best, you've got to beat the best. You know, there's no point in thinking you were going to make it to the finals of Big Brother just playing against average players. This, in, in the end, the strongest will be there at the end, and you're going to have to beat the strongest if you want to be the best. So you've had a week off, and then you get hit hard again, Dave. Mm. Yeah. Poor thing. It's all right. I feel so good. How are you feeling, bro? Mm. 
Oh, look, oh, nomination's over. You yeah. can piss off whoever you want. <laughs> I don't ever have to do it again. Why would your best friend nominate me? I have no idea why Johnny did that. If he w was watching the show, he'd know that you'd want to be there in the final week with me, so why give me points? I have no idea why you would do that. And I, you're smiling. I just, that's because I have no idea why Johnny would do that. I have no idea why he would do that. I can't. I don't I, understand why you're laughing. Because it's weird. It's weird that Johnny would do that. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what he's seen. That makes me think the exact same thing, right? Johnny wouldn't, you know, that makes me wonder what he's seeing. What, like. Okay, it's fine. Let's just forget about it and be there for each other, okay? Like, don't get me wrong, I would have loved to cruise by this week, but, um, hey, it's not, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Look, Davo's up, Leo's up, um, Priya's up, Sky's up. It's, yeah, it's exciting. I think, I think you probably, um, I don't know, you get excited when you're up a little bit. It gets your adrenaline pumping. Um, it's interesting uh, that, you know, Lena and Penny skipped a nomination, but um, that's just the way the game is. So you can't be angry at them. The only thing my mum would have seen is if people have been talking about me and I didn't know. Penny and Lena may have entered the house together as friends, but their relationship has become strained. Lena, Lena, like in the spa and stuff, like yeah. last night, like I think Lena already talked to you about like whether you're starting to hang around with the boys and I'm like, yeah, she said something yeah, yeah, listen, and I get really angry no, listen, about listen, it. Listen, and I, and I started getting angry about it too, because I go, if if Penny wants to start hanging out with the boys, there's nothing wrong with that. I go, just because she's, no, listen, I go, just because she's choosing to spend more time with Ryan, Dave, the boys, me and that, it doesn't mean that she's now choosing our side yeah. first. Then. There is no divide, no, girls first no boys. I just hang out with people, it's not, it's not boys or girls, it's just sometimes I come in and like whoever's around, it doesn't just, it doesn't, you know what I mean? I don't go boys group or girls group and I knew mum would do something like that because I haven't, I can't join in the gossiping sometimes because no, no, I haven't had anything with anyone. It's going to be an like, absolutely huge week. You think the gloves are off now? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> There's going to be trouble now. It's going to be like a massive week. It's going to be crazy. Well, you'll be around to see it. I know. Enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just nuts. Like, like I just, I can't, like, like, like I'm just so happy. Like, like I can't. I'm so embarrassed. Like, I can't believe my mum came in here. So, Priya, some very strong company you find yourself in with these nominated housemates. Yes, this is the strongest it has been so far. Does that concern you? Yes, I would be lying if I say it doesn't concern me. Well, the fact remains at this stage of the game, you have to beat everyone at some point. Exactly, exactly. Um, if I survive this particular nomination, that will definitely give me a boost when it comes to the finale. So this will be the breaking point. It's the most important um, eviction yet. Next, housemates pause. The remote control task. Will they pass or wow. fail? Housemates, this week you have And you're holding your cord and you're just This is Big Brother. Sort of hanging up. All housemates to the lounge. No, and Penny to the diary room. It's the morning before Richard's eviction. He and the other housemates have been struggling with this week's remote control task, which rewinds, fast forwards, and freezes them at the worst possible times. It's Penny's turn to be tested. Penny, how have you been enjoying this week's remote control task? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, actually, this Penny, morning. Penny, pause. Wow. 
Wow. Hey, Penny. How you doing? Wow. Fantastic. Hello, housemates. Wow. How you doing? Australia's premier magician and illusionist, Matt Hollywood, is particularly known for his ability to shock and awe. <laughs> This. I'm just going to put this uh, penny somewhere safe. Somewhere safe. No, I won't look. I won't look. I won't look. <laughs> I looked. I want you to hold that there. Mama. I think he wants to kiss you. Mama. Mm. <laughs> 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 you know, too. You just call that. They failed the last task and have been on staples for the past week. So Big Brother gives them a challenge. The prize is a fast food feast. To win KFC Stacker Burgers, they have to make their own stack, a human pyramid, so one of them can reach the burger. Oh my God. We've got two minutes, so just calm down. Okay, you right. right. You all right? You all right? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, I'm sorry. Knee on here on Sky. Yep, knee there. There's one here. Now, knee on here. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Despite Penny's bravery, 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 Penny's bravery,
So if, if Cheryl gave me four, Michael and Bush, they would have given me... Two and three. Two and three. Housemates, would you like Big Brother to get you an abacus? Yes, please. Yes, please. That please. wasn't 15, that was 14. So that means a two off Travi. <laughs> What's an abacus? It's a Chinese counting machine. It's like a thousand million years old. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's doing my head. That was Big Brother's very dry way of saying, perhaps we'll leave the numbers and nominations in the past, gentlemen, oh, and move on, shall we? It's fun, Melvin. <laughs> Maybe if you just gave us something. Give him some punishment. Maybe if you just gave us a witty one-liner, good night, Big Brother. This is the first time you've talked to us in four days, Big Brother. (laughs) The only numbers Big Brother's interested in right now Uh, is Abby's phone. Oh my my god! God. Oh my god! So quickly. <laughs> that is the best one oh, we've you're heard. The best oh, thing, so good. Experience. Oh, yes. That is huge. <laughs> oh, not Melvin, you clever man. To say David, call 1902 or SMS David to 199 To say Leo, call 1902 or SMS Leo to 199 To say Priya, call 1902 or SMS Priya to 199 Or vote on Facebook. To say Ryan, call 1902 or SMS Ryan to 199 To say Sky, call 1902 or SMS Sky. Sky to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.